welcome back to my channel my name is adeze if you're new to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber you already know who i am so yeah uh, welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a mukbang slash discussion i asked you guys a question yesterday on instagram um and i'm going to be reading some of your responses while i eat and you know we'll just chat so please go and get your food though if not long throat is going to worry you because i came ready to long throat <laughs> to do all of you long throat okay so yeah so today i'm going to be eating fries i'm eating this is yam fried yam fried plantain fried sweet potatoes fried fish um coleslaw and pepper sauce and um, this is majorly pepper and onions but it has tomatoes carrots um green pepper and sweet corn in it okay so this is i can't wait to dig in um yeah so you guys if you guys would like to watch me eat while i discuss whether you should change your body for your spouse should you change if your spouse asks you to, my dear wife my dear lover i don't like the way you look i want you to change are you gonna change is it right to change is it wrong you know under what circumstances is it normal is it okay to change and yeah so we're discussing all of that so if you'd like to see it then just keep on watching so yeah you guys i'm going to be having a glass of cold water with my food you guys ordinarily i should have gotten a bottle of chilled coke okay the only reason why i decided to just take water is so that i will respect you guys not myself oh. i'm not trying to respect myself because this is already self disrespect <laughs> it's already disrespectful okay but the reason why i just took cold water is just let it not be that after i finish saying oh i'm on a weight loss journey i'm losing weight this one that one that one you will not see me drinking one bottle of coke okay that's why i'm taking water and yeah there's no coke in the house but that's not the point the point is that i'm trying to respect you guys okay <laughs> so yeah um let me just dig in You guys, this sauce is entering the medulla of my medulla. As in, mm, you guys, I love fried jam a lot. So, I don't have to my fried jam. I might even finish the fried jam before the rest. Anyway, so, let's start. Let's discuss. Okay. I asked you guys, would you change your physical appearance for your spouse or your partner? That will you can you gain or lose weight, go natural, or you know, go relaxed? Will you wear or don't wear makeup? You know, will you wear short things, don't wear short things? Will you basically change your appearance from what it used to be to something else just because you know your spouse is uncomfortable with the way it used to be, or because he, he prefers you a certain way, or because you know you've changed from how you used to be when he met you and he wants you to go back are you going to change so let me read your responses i got a lot of interesting responses some people are just saying no 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 it's not fight eh? Actually, it's not fight <laughs> some people are just writing no never no never it's not fight don't worry just calm down eh? we're, we're just trying to discuss these things because these are things that happen in marriages in relationships that people don't really talk about you know sometimes we come out and be for me ah i'm independent no man can <laughs> meanwhile deep down we know that we're making some major changes in our lives simply because our partners are not comfortable you know with the way we used to be or because our partners prefer a certain way so let's not stop pretending as if no many of us don't do i'm not saying all of us do but many of us do so yeah um let me just read our responses okay so someone said it depends should I say can I call names? Let me not call names in case I don't know. I don't know in case there are responses that are controversial for people who go and start sending beef to people for no reason. Anyway, it depends. If I understand his point of view, why not? But generally speaking, any man who does not wait, okay, sure. Any man who does that has insecurity issues, in my opinion. Okay, so she's saying any man who asks his girlfriend or his wife to change you know has insecurity issues is it really insecurity issues sometimes yes it might be but is it really really insecurity issues 
we are all human beings who let's let's stop acting like we are angels eh we are all human beings who are moved all of us people like say oh men are moved by what they see women too are moved by what they see okay we don't know we like acting as if no room what we see is not is not is not is not uh, important what is important is what is inside i like his soul his soul called his soul where did you see his soul from is it not his physical appearance you first saw but it's not the soul anyway so yeah she said okay so she will do it if she understands his point of view but such a man has insecurity issues okay that's your opinion so another person said it depends child but changing my complexion or going for plastic surgery is a no-no girl i agree with you i can't change my complexion for anybody in this in this world no 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 money nobody no money no job will make me go and change my complexion i don't want to become anything else just because of someone else so i agree with complexion um going for plastic surgery is a no-no yes i also agree i don't think plastic surgery is something you should do just because somebody else wants you to do it like <laughs> anything can go wrong there are complications you might not like your body afterwards you know you might have issues with your body years down the line so do anything you want to definitely major changes major alterations like plastic surgery in my opinion do it with your chest so anything that comes you will take it Mm? You will take it. You won't. You won't feel like killing yourself because somebody else forced you to do it. Okay. The next person says, "I will never do that for him, but I will do it for myself." We women go through a lot with our bodies. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, I agree actually because you guys, what I don't understand is you see one ugly-looking man, hmm? a man that looks like. A three monster. His girlfriend or his wife will look like a model beside him. But even that his wife that looks like a model or his girlfriend looks like a model behind beside him will still be insecure about her look so that other women will not snatch her ugly three monster husband or boyfriend. Like why? I don't understand. And then yes, yeah, women go through a lot of their bodies, especially because of childbirth, hormonal changes, age, a lot of things go on with women and our bodies. So if she says she will never do that for him, I can understand that because at the end of the day, like we do so many things for everybody else, you know. Yeah, so I understand your point. Um, you guys, this is the kind of food that when you're eating, you'll be finding your armpit. <laughs> I can feel sweat about about to start coming out. Hmm. <sighs> mm. This enjoyment is too much. Because someone said, I will just make sure that I try to look my best for me and also for my partner. Yeah, I agree. I agree. For me, there's nothing wrong in trying to look your best for your partner. There's nothing wrong in it, okay? I know that some people make it look as if um, it's a bad thing for you to want to change something for your partner. It's not wrong. But my own is, what are the changes? For instance, my husband was not like makeup. He hates it as in he hates makeup hmm? but um i think it also depends on the man too okay because in his own case he hates makeup if i want to kiss him and i have makeup on he doesn't like it he doesn't want to hug me when i have makeup on he hates it. he said that anytime he sees a woman with makeup it looks like she carries clay she carries clay on her body and puts it that he has never seen any makeup that is natural enough you know now it's not like he doesn't like like now if i do my brows you know maybe put a little bit of lip gloss or maybe some beautiful lipstick you know even red lipstick it doesn't really mind like if i wear just red lipstick and you know do my brows maybe eyeliner doesn't mind what he hates is foundation you see that foundation <laughs> foundation concealer contour all those things to him he says he can see it on everybody's face so anytime he sees it, that is not fine to him so what do i do i still love makeup okay so i do my makeup when i want to even though i love makeup i actually don't wear makeup a lot because it's stressful it, it takes a lot of time to, to do makeup okay but i do my makeup when i want to film some videos when i want to go to some occasions where i want to look you know on point you know some occasions where there's a way you dress your makeup has to follow your hair so such occasions is i'll do serious makeup but just to go out with him in fact one time i go out with him like maybe we're just going to the movies or we're going out i don't do any makeup on my face i don't even put, put lip gloss i just bath and follow him that's how we do it okay so those are the compromises i'm making for my partner um and funny enough to be honest after years of making those compromises right now i don't see the need of make for makeup 
Okay, if not, I did for my video sake so that people will not say what's wrong with this one. <laughs> so I won't look sick or sleepy. That is why I do makeup in, in some of my videos. If you leave me, my makeup is going to be a waste because, to be honest, I've gotten tired of it. Okay, so for me, I don't see anything, but I don't feel like I'm changing myself, you know, for my partner. I don't see that way. Another thing is, I want to cut my hair. That's one that's even a little bit. That's one that made me ask this question. I want to cut my hair, and my husband says no. He doesn't like it. Nah. He wants to touch something. I said, Oga, have the time. I am not with my natural. What is half the time? Ninety percent of the time, I'm on my natural hair. I'm with one wig or the other. He said, when you're sleeping, you don't sleep with wig. I like it like that. I like your hair when you're sleeping. So let me touch something. <laughs> you know. But to be honest, my natural hair, I'm tired. Like, I'm tired of even relaxing hair. Like, I've left my hair only once, and to relax it again, I'm tired. I just, want, I just want to cut my hair and carry a very, very low cut. Even if, you know, I like to grow and I relax it, I want it to be short. You know, okay, either short, natural, or short, relaxed, but I want my hair to be short. But he doesn't like it, okay? And to be honest, I really, really, I really want to cut my hair. But because he doesn't like it, that's why I'm reluctant. I'm just like, I can go ahead and cut it though. You will not. Is it going to flood me, or will he tell me? Go and, he won't return my bread price. Like we're stuck. We're stuck forever. Okay. But I said, asking myself, if I wake up one morning and he says he wants to start cutting off all his beards, doesn't want to keep beards again. He wants to start cutting off all his beards. Am I going to be happy? The answer is no. I'm not going to be happy. Okay. So that is why I have not yet cut my hair. I want them to remain physically attracted to me as I am to them. Good answer. Of course. Yeah. Good answer. Like, if your partner tells you this is something he finds physically attractive, actually, if that is how you were before, okay, and he wants you to go back, that's when he met you, you were on low cut. Then all of a sudden, he wants to start growing your hair and he tells you, I prefer your hair on low cut. Someone says, He must love me. The most is capital letter. <laughs> he must love me the way I am. Because if I don't like something about myself, then I'll change it. Yeah, I agree with you. See, the truth is that a good man or your partner who loves you will love you regardless of how you look, okay? The love is not going to die just because, oh, you try to, you know, um, relax your hair or not relax your hair, whatever. He's still going to love you. But the question is, is he going to be physically attracted to you? <laughs> yes, love is one thing, but is he going to be physically attracted to you hmm? Hmm? yes as long as it's something i don't mind me self i need my husband to lose weight though <laughs> but it's true now if your husband tells you to lose weight will you lose weight for your husband personally i would i would because first of all weight gain actually too much weight gain is not even good for anybody's health. So, if my partner tells me, ah, babe, you need to lose weight though. I don't see anything wrong with them. I've seen posts on Instagram from women like, how can he tell you that you're too fat? How can he tell you that you should lose weight? <laughs> or one time that a man bought treadmill for his wife as Christmas present and it became a problem. Why would he buy treadmill for his wife? I was like, <laughs> Uh, you, you don't have a problem in this life, Sha. If that one is the problem, you don't have a problem in this life. Someone else says, if it is something I want, then I will. But if it is not, it's a no. Take for instance, natural hair is a tire. So I think she's trying to say that it's something that she already wants and he asks, then fine, she will. But it's something that she doesn't really want. Like, if she doesn't want, she doesn't want natural hair and he says he wants natural hair, she knows she can't because it's a tire. And it's true, to be honest. I don't think I can go natural because somebody wants me to go natural. The only reason why I'll, why I'll do that is if you pay me big money. Hmm? You pay me big money to go natural and then you'll be taking me to, or you bring someone to come and do home service for me every week. You come and wash my hair, detangle it, you know, and braid it up or something, or corn roll it, con or corn roll it, okay? If you are going to do that one, then why not? I'll go natural for you, but. If it's just so that I'll be doing, I'm suffering myself by myself. No, it's not gonna work. Or if you help me, fine. Another person says, it depends on the thing and the reasons behind it. Yes, girl, I really, I really agree with it. It depends on the thing he's asking for and the reasons behind it. Okay. So if you're asking to lose weight because it's, it's unhealthy and you're not trying to 
fat people. Fine, I'll lose weight. If you're asking me to, you know, not wear too much makeup because you don't like makeup, fine, I won't wear too much makeup, okay? But I'll wear when I want to wear, okay? Then, um, what else? But if you're telling me I should go and do, um, uh, Brazilian butt lifts because you like big bum bum. I would direct you to where big bum bum people are so that you go there and go and marry another wife and leave me alone. <laughs> mm. I'll search for them on Instagram. You know those Instagram models that come and twerk. I'll search for them on Instagram and connect with one of them. Go and marry that one and leave me alone. So this one says he should go out and find the person with the exact body he likes. So plenty fish day ocean now. <laughs> Plenty fish day ocean, but are they all croaker? Are they all panda? <laughs> are they all shiny? There's plenty fish in the ocean, no, but there's some fish that you know fish up. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with you because if it's before we get married and you like a certain body type, please go for that body type, but not when you finish marrying me. Then you now come and tell me that you see, I, I I like your your personality. That's why I married you. But now your body has to change. So you know to suit what I like. Hey, okay, you better take it to the left. Someone says never. God forbid. If he truly loves you, he will never force you to change who you are. Yeah, I agree. But I'm saying about force. It might not be force. I mean, it shouldn't be force. He can act nicely. He can be persistent. What person says? Very tricky question. It's important that whatever one does, one does it for oneself. Like what I said in the beginning, yeah. Do it with your chest, do it for yourself. So that anything that happens, you know that at least you did it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You guys, when I was dishing this food, I was actually dishing it as per ah, I'm very, very hungry and I want to dish food mukbang style. So let me put lots of food. I can't say I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I've not even gone halfway, so I'm tired. Anyway, let me be eating the coastal because this is one that, was, that can spoil. So, if table turns, would he change his appearance for me? If he can't accept me, he should run. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Sha, that's a good question. Like, can the man do the same? No man can be stubborn. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm okay the way I am. You know? Something someone said. I don't know why I saw this thing, but it's actually true. Men. When you look in the mirror, they see one very handsome guy in the mirror. But women, no matter how beautiful you are, when you look in the mirror, it's all your flaws that you'll be seeing. Don't know why. You know, so you might be telling your husband in his mind he's the best thing since sliced bread. Someone says this is a good this is a good um, comment. She says, I don't think I would, because once you start and change one thing, it's very likely that he will have more or he will want more. That's true. I'm not gonna lie. I think so, but it depends on the man, depends on the kind of man you're married to, it depends on the man. Some men don't actually want much, it might just be one thing that they need from me and that's it, okay? So it depends on the man, yeah. Weight loss change ain't the same as don't wear makeup, all changes are not equal, of course. Okay, she also said, as long as it doesn't violate what I want or like. Yeah, that's actually very important because... I have to look attractive to myself as well. So yeah, even though I say yes, it's, it's okay to compromise for your, uh, for your partner or whatever. You have to look attractive. So for instance, um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not unattractive without makeup. So I can make that compromise. I'm not unattractive with hair, so I can make that compromise. I'm not unattractive losing weight. I'm actually more attractive losing weight. <laughs> okay. So yeah. But if I was skinny, no, anyway, not skinny anyway. But if I was slim and you wanted me to be skinny, now personally, personally, I don't like being skinny. I've never been skinny anyway. For my age, I've always been, I've always had flesh for my age, okay? For whatever age it was, for my age, I've always had flesh. I've never, but I've never been, I wasn't overweight, but I was never skinny. I've never been on the skinny side. And I don't really find being skinny as attractive okay now if you wanted me to be skinny skinny you want me to be bone skinny nope i don't think i'll do that because i don't like being skinny okay or if you wanted me ah i like big big, big what they call them <laughs> big black and big bold and whatever i don't know what they call them but 
you like very thick women, very very thick ones, the ones that their bum bum is from here to here, their rose is from here to here, their boobs is from here to here. You like such women and then the tsunami you now saw and wants me to become like that, I'll tell you no, okay? So yeah, like she's she's actually right, like as long as it doesn't violate what I want and what I like, okay? I think I think it's my own for me is what I like because what I want well, what I want might I can compromise what I want but what I like like it's something that is, my my predisposition is to like this thing you don't want me to change it nope okay so yeah I like her I like her responses the second one I asked was about plastic surgery okay <laughs> this is the main one how about plastic surgery okay you wanted it, but your mind is not made up. Your partner tells you to go for it that he'll pay. What would you do? Okay? Be honest though. Mm. Let me see responses. <laughs> Some people can vex her. Someone said, no, 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 hell no. Another person says, never, never. No, nope, not necessary at all. These are different responses. Someone said, because I want it and he's paying, I will go for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would help encourage me to go for it and make my mind up yes now you guys plastic surgery is not cheap oh. it's not cheap so it's not willing to pay ah hmm. my dear it will help me make my mind up <laughs> faster but me personally my i have a fear of plastic surgery simply because number one is surgery number two i think a lot of people are doing plastic surgery based on what they think is beautiful at that time you guys, there was a time that excessive big boobs was actually seen as very flattering and very beautiful. Okay? The time that models with big boobs was the in thing. But right now, it's big bum. And now everybody's going to alter their bodies and you know. For me, okay, this is my take on plastic surgery, okay? Plastic surgery for I can do plastic surgery for vanity reasons, but it's only to take away things from my body. If it's to remove flesh remove fat, lift boobs, you know, all those kind of things, yes, I don't mind, but all those additions, add silicone, you know, transfer, transfer fats, you know, all those kind of things, that's one that I cannot do, okay, so yeah, if you're going to pay for it, ah, my mind will be made up fast, fast, someone said, yes, I will, but a very good hospital, and I'm choosing, okay, and I'm choosing, yeah, yeah, someone said, another person says, as long as he will pay for support, not that he hates my body, then of course, <laughs> this is a good comment. Paying for support, not that he hates my body. If he actually really likes your body, would he pay for support? Think about it. If he actually, like for instance, your husband loves your boobs the way they are then you're not telling my uncle can get bigger boobs will he bring out money for support or you want to get smaller boobs you want to reduce the size will he pay the money only because of support remember plastic surgery is not cheap think about it but i got a point me to be honest to if I tell my husband, ah, man, I think I need to change my eyes. And he now tells me, yeah, don't worry, just go for it, I'll pay. Ah, I will go, I'll collect the money and go and do the surgery. After the surgery, we will not, we will not fight. <laughs> I'll collect the money first. Since I wanted to do it on my own, I'll collect the money first. So I'll go to the hospital, I'll do the whole thing, recover. You know, like, wow, babe, I love the way you look right now. Thank you. And I say, so. You hated the way I look at, but that's why we'll now fight the fight that I should have fought since, okay? But yeah, um, it's actually somehow if your partner admits to you that he doesn't like the way your body is, to be honest, no matter how nicely he wants to say it, no matter how much money he wants to throw at you, you are still going to feel some type of way about it, no matter how, and it doesn't even matter about, like, for instance. In my own case, my own is a different one because he doesn't like makeup, okay? He doesn't like makeup, he doesn't even like weaves, all this weave, he doesn't really like it, he prefers my natural hair. Anytime I pack my natural hair, 
you know, natural face, and I meet my husband, he say, Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Wow, you look very beautiful. You know, so in my own case, it's not really bad. My is the opposite. But if I pack my natural hair, come my natural face, you know, like, ah, babe, I beg, I beg, I beg, go and do your hair, go and do your face. Hey, we are going to fight, though. <laughs> we are going to fight. So the way God made me is bad. <laughs> we'll find out fight. Plastic surgery is a no for me because I don't like it at all. Well, if you don't like it, that's not the problem. We're talking about you wanted to, you are contemplating, maybe you are scared or you are not really sure it's something that you really want. And then he tells you, don't worry, go for it, I'll pay for it. That's what I mean. Not If you don't like it, I mean, it's not even a consideration in the first place. Someone said, I will happily book it, my dear. <laughs> That kind of thing, eh? If something that, if something that you really wanted, ah, then that's it, they are paying for it. <laughs> I will even add another surgery that I was maybe I didn't even consider before. I will think of more things that I did not even consider. Should be you want me to alter my appearance? I will alter everything. I will. <laughs> the person that entered that uh, uh, this doctor's office is not the person that will come out. I will alter everything. <laughs> okay. Someone says, I don't think I would, Sha. I haven't given birth, so I don't know how things will turn out by then. That's true. Another thing you have to consider. When you've not had your kids, I think you should hold off on any alteration until you, after you've had all your kids and give some more time. When you now see how your body is in hair. Because like me personally, I don't mind you know going for breast lifts, you know, I don't like I don't, I don't mind going for breast lifts after you've had your kids. Actually, maybe you want to rub cream on your leg and your boobs are also helping you to rub cream on your legs. Uh -huh. You know, in that case it's a matter of national <laughs> national emergency. <laughs> It's a matter of national emergency, national security. If when you bend down to rub cream on your feet, your boobs are also helping you rub the cream. Mm -mm, it's a problem there. So, yeah, understand, okay? Someone says, my mind is made up for plastic surgery already. You should pay a beg. <laughs> all of you, I will report all of you. I, I can see your name, so I will report all of you to your husbands. I will go and meet the other. Your wife said that you should bring money. Yes. Someone else says, the thought of plastic surgery has never crossed my mind. Wow, girl, you are lucky. You, hmm. you are very lucky. The thought has crossed my mind though, several times, but two things I don't want pain. Number two, I don't have the money, and I cannot do all this plastic surgery that people go to. <laughs> all the plastic surgery that people go to in Nigeria, I, I don't get it. I can't, I know, I know if it. I'm sorry, I can't. No matter how, how good they are, I don't know why I don't just trust them. All these try the ones on social media. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Says, because I'm scared of plastic surgery, no. But if there are drugs I can take, then I sure will. I'm actually more scared of taking drugs than even plastic surgery. Hmm? Drugs. Hmm. Why you not take the one that will go and damage your, your liver or remove your kidney? Or, or burn your intestines. <laughs> so someone says, I don't know why I would need one. I am wonderfully and beautifully made. Yes, so oh, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, we are all beautifully and wonderfully made. But you are right, actually. We are all beautifully and wonderfully made. But the but is that some of us are not exactly how we were made. Some of us have altered how we were made by eating too much. <laughs> Okay, by doing things like this, some of us have altered how we were made. Some of us, you know, having kids has altered how we were made. So, yeah, <laughs> but I agree. <laughs> you know the funny thing? I can do plastic surgery, but I can't advise anybody to do it. That's the funny thing. I can't advise anybody to do it. Um, yeah, and it's not, well, even when, even when I'm saying I can do it, to be honest, it's not even something that I'm, I see myself doing. It's something I fantasize about, like, ah, I wish I can just, you know, get money, go and do the surgery, so that I won't have to go through this or go through that. Yeah, I fantasize about it, but in reality, am, am I going to ever do plastic surgery? To be honest, I do not think so. Mm? Yeah. Um, someone says, <laughs> someone says, I will change if my spouse wants me to, so that I'll be justified. <laughs> I'll be justified. If he decides to cheat, <laughs> she put on a laugh. She put a laughing emoji too. Well, well, <laughs> mm, well. So you'll be justified if he decides to cheat. Is there any case where 
his cheating is justified or where you are unjustified for his cheating. I don't have to explain it. So if you, if you don't change and he cheats, is it still your fault? It's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. But I get what you're trying to say. I can't tell you now know that ah, I did all I could though. I did all I could. So you cannot come and say it's because I refused to change. I did everything. I still have some fries left and my fried fish and my coleslaw and my pepper sauce. I still have these ones left. I'm, I'm very, very full. I want to go and lie down and sleep now. So that this food will digest very well. Um, but yeah, this food was absolutely delicious. The fish is so... In fact, this fish, why I think it is that I'm saving it for when I want to watch movie later on in the night. I can't go to find another one now. So I'm going to save this one when I want to watch movie in the night. Um, I'll take the fish and maybe the rest of the fries or whatever, you know, but this goes on. I'm going to try and finish it now, but yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you to everyone who sent in their responses. I totally, totally appreciate it. Thank you guys for, you know, always coming through with your responses. If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know. Should I fry fish for you? Should I go? Should I send food to your house so that you come and follow me on Instagram? <laughs> Please follow me on Instagram. We have fun there once in a while. Even though I try to bring the fun over to YouTube, that's something that I just can't bring over to youtube it's not just the same so please follow me on instagram my instagram handle is at adese space i always leave it somewhere here on the screen or somewhere here on the screen okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please leave a comment below telling me a topic that you want us to discuss next time it might be mukbang style it might just be plain discussion you know but Send me a topic that you want us to discuss next time and we'll discuss it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm.